Yeah! I destroyed the second. Oh, no, no! <laughs> no, no, no! Welcome to another round of Humaldo Plays. Today we'll take a look at the award winning roguelike shoot em up with stylish 8 bit graphics, stared in binary stars from the French developer studio Pixel Nest Studio. Yep, yeah, uh, it was initially released already in 2015 for Steam, uh, then it was released on Xbox One and PS4 in 2016, 2017 for iOS, and now finally in March 2018, it's here for the Nintendo Switch. Um, a lot of uh, work uh, went into this new version of the game, it's stared and binary stars and lots and lots new features are in there, but I guess I will just uh, start playing it and tell you uh, what has changed while I'm playing it. So press any button to start. So, and uh, I already know, oh, the game starts directly to the game. Uh, I expected some kind of title screen. Hi Captain, activating virtual mode and gaming. Turning on music. Let's move this ship around. Okay, so this is the tutorial. So of course, you can move the ship with the control stick. And now I have to destroy everything. I really, I already like it. <laughs> we are under attack. Oh my God. Nice, 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 nice. Oh my god, oh my god. This is basically Star Wars Episode 8 in pixel form. <laughs> okay, warning. Private fleet signatures detected. Okay, and now I'm in the game. And the music is awesome. Because uh, normally, yeah, the first thing one has to do when he starts playing stare then is go into the uh, options menu and crank up the volume, the mu music volume, or lower the effects volume. So, okay, there's a saw. I think this saw is the new uh, special ability. <laughs> and it's the... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's a nice uh, melee attack. Oh, well, I have to be a bit more careful. So, this... Okay, now I'm already at the first boss. So, bosses are interesting because as the rest of the game, I think the, uh, the attacks are purely randomized. So, oh fuck, fuck, so you're depending a bit on, on, on your luck. And I just lost. Okay, so this was a bit uh, too hardcore just with the saw blade directly to the enemy. And we are now finally at the uh, main menu. So, uh, a new feature is you have a co-op mode. So you can locally play it with your friends on the Nintendo Switch because the Nintendo Switch has these two nice Joy-Con controllers. Uh, and the next thing is settings. Settings are super important because I have to lower the sound to 70. So, the music can be heard uh, better, because the music is so awesome of this game. Uh, the daily run and the boss rush modes are uh, new modes, but they have to be unlocked first. So let's start it again. So, and this is the next new feature of the game. Uh, there are now five new ships, but they have to be unlocked. So this is the Tempest, it's the first, uh, um, the first of your five ships, and the other four are not available yet. And... Whoa, we are again at this um, Star Wars Episode 8 inspired explosion. But yeah, but this game came out before Star Wars Episode 8. So Star Wars Episode 8 ripped stare then off. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So now the music is much louder. So I have to I have to be so concentrated. Because normally, normally, oh fuck, 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 fuck. Normally, I, I don't play much of roguelikes. So, and this is a new a secondary weapon, the stasis bot. So I shoot out this little bot, and the bot does its does things on its own, which is nice. But I have to switch between weapons, and here I'm again at the bomber. So now I try to be a bit more careful. Okay, 
I have because yeah the last time I was a bit too uh, ruthless but yeah the red uh, warning is blinking already the red skull and I destroyed him so the first boss uh, was quite easy and explosions nice little pixel explosions everywhere so so after I destroyed the uh, boss, uh, it fills up my energy and it's the only way to fill up the energy. And now I can uh, upgrade my ship, but if I die, I lose the upgrades because I start at the very beginning um, again. So, come on, come on, what will I, what will I collect? Slot design, plus 15% damages and 50% drop. So, let's go to the next wave. So this binary stars version of the game has lots and lots of new features like new landscapes, uh, new backgrounds, new music tracks and even new bosses. So basically the game, uh, gameplay wise, it's, um, the developers promised it's the same like the old one. So if you already own the old stair then you know the basic uh, experience, but this is heavy. This is a heavily enhanced version, and I think they plan to even um, release the Binary Stars upgrade to other consoles. But it will take time because the studio is very small. So uh, this Pixelist studio, I think there are only a couple of people on the website. There are only two people shown. It can't get more indie than Stare than Binary Stars. Okay. Oh, and I'm totally bad here. This is the thing, playing action games while uh, talking and trying to entertain your audience always uh, results in not the very best gameplay um, achievement. <laughs> so, Frigate! So, if I manage to destroy the Frigate, or how it's pronounced, I have no idea how a Frigate is pronounced in English, because I'm Austrian. And I just uh, hope it won't. Okay, and I'm dead. So, and here you can see your progress. There are two, three, four, five, six, seven waves and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bosses. And I guess it will take a while until I'm good enough to reach the final boss <laughs> because this game is hardcore. So, let's try it again. So now I start all over in the very first wave. I will shorten the video, I will uh, edit out the, the retries, but they will, I will cut in a timer, which shows uh, how many attempts I uh, it took, because I want to get at least to wave 3 to unlock the the fortress, oh my god, oh fuck, 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 because I guess the uh, fortress, the next ship, the new ship is a bit stronger and as soon as I have the fortress, game is a bit easier and this is one uh, of the new features of this game, the stronger new ships. Okay, and here's the bomber again, so should be easy, just concentrate on your, on my own position here. And I have to look at my own ship and just hit the, keep the fire button pressed. Oh my god, this is a, ah, this is a, this is a nasty attack. I have to cycle around the ship. So in here, uh, oh, fuck. oh my god, oh my god. And so, next try. <laughs> Okay, now I got, ah, got the rockets. The rockets are nice. Boss, next try. Oh fuck, <laughs> directly. Okay, okay, and I did. Next try. So, uh, have a new weapon, the Hyper Blaster. It's stronger, but totally unpredictable where it uh, shoots. Because it's at a straight line of, um, of bullets. It's more randomized, so it's strong in theory, but harder to aim. At least that's my impression of what it does. And... Oh, fuck, 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 please, please, please be destroyed. Yeah, and I destroyed it. 
So, this time I will take the passive shield. Build a shield when not firing. So. So, wave two. And the graphics are so nice. So it's this modern 8-bit pixel style. The music is so great. <laughs> So what's this? Impaler! Ah, okay, now I have the Impaler weapon. So it's not an automatic weapon, so I have to push the button repeatedly. It's super strong, but not that fast, so I will um, save it for the boss. Okay, now I have this strange weapon and the Impaler, so I don't know if this was a good idea. Oh my god, no! I'm a fucked here. No, I have to... I have to oh, okay, this was the, the generator. It generated the energy beam and yeah it's also a bit of a bullet hell game and i'm here at the second boss and i i doubt that i will kill him i have to concentrate to not being hit by those millions and millions of bullets Okay, okay, so maybe maybe the impaler isn't that strong. And I'm dead, so next try. <sighs> next try. So. Oh, Mega Gun. Oh, the Mega Gun is nice. Oh, Mega Gun discovered it's shown at the bottom. And another feature of this game is to totally change the progression of the game. Oh, and I'm dead again because in the ori uh, because in the original version of the game, uh, pretty much everything was unlocked from the very beginning. And in Starden Binary Stars, there are loads and loads and loads of unlocks. Okay, now I have the li the light gun, which is pretty strong, but I'm. Out of energy almost, so I'm afra afraid I won't manage to kill a second boss. But yeah. Oh, there are nice planets in the background. And I'm dead. Next. Try. Oh, nice, nice, nice. The health boost finally, so I can upgrade my health bar. But now I should finally make the second, the second uh, wave. I have to unlock the new ship. Still. So second boss again. So with half of my energy. So let's hope. Okay, this is a good attack. It's very slow, so I have time to. Dodge, but I should. I don't want to hit him. So. Okay. I think. I think that's nice. So now we will. Uh, okay. So the flower attack is also very nice. I call it the flower attack. So. Oh. So attack. So I have four energy or five energy points left. So I. Could actually make it. It's oh fuck 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 no 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 please 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 don't no <sighs> and again <sighs> daily run unlocked okay so my death was not for the sausage as we say here in Austria I unlocked the daily run yeah but try again. Homing missiles! So now I have just to concentrate on avoiding the attacks and just... Ah! Keep the homing missile button pressed. But I'm afraid the homing missiles are not that strong. Oh my god, I'm so bad. No! Homing missiles. Ah. 
Ja, okay, next try. <lacht> next try. Next try. Please, please, please with the frag missiles. I should be able to do it. Yeah! I destroyed the second oh, No! No! <laughs> no, no, no! This damn big explosion! <laughs> Next try! Yeah, the fire hyper blaster! So that's nice, so it's weapon 12 or 49. So there are 50 different weapons in this game. Yeah, and playing half an hour, I already discovered 12 of them. So there is enough content. So, maybe I can impress this uh, boss with my new weapon, but I think he's blinking orange, which means uh, the fire doesn't affect him much, but of course it's in space. <laughs> fire doesn't affect anything much in space. It shouldn't take long. Yeah, I, this time the enemy exploded. So, I'm the worst player in the world. <laughs> Okay, so here's the second boss with one energy point left. <sighs> and even a strong one, so I will try to just dodge the, uh, the bullets like in a bullet hell shooter. And I totally undodged <laughs> the energy. So, next try! Oh nice, a shockwave, a shockwave weapon. This is... So, let's shockwave you to death. No, I think... <laughs> no! Please, please. Oh, not this pink windmill attack. But yeah, I could shock with it. No, I had the shock with and then I crashed into the bullets. <laughs> Next try. I know I'm the worst player of those kind of games, but thanks to the uh, science of video editing, I, the video will be short and compact. So the only one who is suffering here is me and not you, my dear watches but there is this uh, thing called schadenfreude and i think uh, i'm a, <laughs> a supplier of schadenfreude big portions of schadenfreude <laughs> schadenfreude since 1980 what no no <laughs> a bug the software needed to close to an error. My dear developers, do something, fix the bug. <laughs> I have no idea how many attempts I already wasted here. But I'm playing 50 minutes already. I don't know if this game is so hard or I'm just so bad. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> Next try. Next try. Next. It's about time to finally beat the second boss. I mean, I'm playing over an hour now. Ay, ay, ay. And countless attempts. The TARDIS from Doctor Who. What? What does this thing do? Can I? I can't collect it. It's just there. No, no, no. Fuck, fuck. <laughs> Second boss again. Let's hope this weapon affects him. Yeah, this weapon, he's blinking purple. So this means this weapon affects him strong. But I shouldn't fly directly into his bullets. But it's just too much is going on. I, it's... Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. I, 
I can't see a thing here. Purple. <laughs> Next. Please, 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 please. No, this fucking attack. One hit and I'm dead. This can't be! Next! Whoa, a new secondary weapon? Yeah, that's a nice one. Let's see if you are strong. Yeah. Ooh. And I made it! I made it! Finally! 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 I defeated the second boss after one hour, 15 minutes. Oh my god. Health boost, two points. So I, I should have unlocked the second, my second ship. No, finally. Oh my god. So, third wave. <laughs> so. Oh my god, what's going on here? Ah! Are you crazy? How is anyone supposed to finish this game? Oh, the boomerang weapon? Yeah, the boomerang weapon looks nice, it's slow, but I'm not very strong apparently. And I'm dead! So, but this time <laughs> I made it until <laughs> the third uh, wave here. But let's go back to the menu, play, but now... Fortress is unlocked, yeah! But I will play now uh, with the fortress ship and the cool thing is uh, the game is uh, completely randomly created so every every time you play it it's different but there is one constant mode so to say so if you hit the X here you get to the change uh, to the super play seat there are lots and lots of different levels but the cool thing is every time you play this level it's completely the same but i think you can't save uh high scores here but let's start the first seat level with the new ship so this is more the classic experience so the ship has a fire weapon as a standard weapon and what i really like about it is the secondary weapon is this missile stuff, so that's way more useful than uh, this little sword of the first ship. Yeah. So with the new ship, with the fortress ship, I uh, destroyed the second boss in the first attempt. So yeah, it, it looks like it's easier. Oh, the garbage collector. The next boss. Oh, what? This is a boss fight? What's, what, what's that? I destroyed the garbage guy. I have no idea. It's Maybe it's because I'm playing the seat mode. Or is the game really that uh, easier with the second ship? That's the motivation boost I needed, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Warning, destroyer. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow with the young horses. Oh. I only have shit weapons left. Oh my god. You're a nasty big guy. Yes, and I think I quit the game for now. <laughs> uh, that's Stair Than Binary Stars, the brand new update of the game. Uh, currently only available for the Nintendo Switch, but the developers uh, promised uh, the other versions on the other platforms will be patched uh, somewhere soonish. So, and how did I like the game? So, it's super fun, of course, but I think uh, those rogue like uh, bullet hell games are not my cup of tea totally because I don't like. I like losing progress and being reset to the very start and I don't like the randomness factor of those games but I know there is a big market for these games and I think it contains uh, lots and lots of hours of uh, bullet hell fun and that's it already this was my little uh, let's play of stared and binary stars I hope you enjoyed it and if you enjoyed it please consider subscribing to my youtube channel Thanks for watching and see you next time, bye!